All right. What are you up to, number five? <laughs> okay. Rusty tube is getting a little less rust. But I cut all the rust off. See, that one has rust on it, too. Oh, camera got too close. Fogged up the lens there. It doesn't appear it wants to cut that, whatever that is on that off. The brass is going to look pretty brassy. The venturi appears to still be sort of in there. That's always a good sign. Sharp up there. They're looking pretty clean. Something wrong with this is this is not clean. Damn, part of my fingers. Give this one one more try with this thing straight up. And this corroded looking one over here is looks like it's getting corroded now. It doesn't appear to be cleaning it anymore, it just appears to be making it more corroded looking. So we'll give it one more shot too. What the hell? Let's flip it over. Alright, one more time. change the setting of the machine this time. We're going to go to the severe clean mode. We've been giving it conservative mode. High frequency. Low frequency. Okay, so we're using low frequency, which gives you more, more power. And we'll try that out. Let's see what happens. That in there. Turn that on. It's like we're 131 degrees right now. Okay, here's the other carburetor. I'm keeping my lemon pan up here. Okay, this is the carburetor here, the one I cleaned up. It appears the corrosion is not going away. So I think I'll get some like CRL or something like that and try dipping it in that and see what happens. We definitely get all the carbon out of here. It looks really, really clean. In that respect. Worst case, I'll put this in my uh, bead blaster and blast it, but I'm trying to make the machine do all the work, not my blaster. But for cutting carbon, uh, this stuff works pretty damn nicely. It looks, looks really good. That's all that purple power crap. I don't know if the ultrasonic cleaner's helping any, but can't be hurting any. But not aluminum. There's your aluminum pan residue. It's aluminum. So, all right, we'll be back.